Hey everybody, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video, and today I have for you the best waves to farm for the first half of All-Star Battle. Now, if you cannot make it through most of the second half as well, these are going to be some pretty good spots to fall back on. I got one for you that is the tried and true, you know, the traditional last, I don't know, four or five months has been wave 33, maybe even more. Wave 33, I'm not going to waste a ton of time on it because honestly, so many of these first farming wave videos are just me going, hey, it's wave 33 again. And I mean, for good reason, you're going to get like what there is a... It's just a constant swarm of destroyers, of destroyer larvas, and then you're going to get a aggregate form, a flying form, and a perfect form. The perfect form, when you kill it, that counts as a kill. It'll drop five, uh, what are they, larvas. Those will be counting as kills as well, so there's five. They come in a cluster of five. There's a few of them. You're going to get somewhere like, I think it's nor like close to 100 kills, 110 or something like that just on 33 and that's not even talking about the buildups on waves 31 and 32 leading 33 if you kill everything there you're leaving with it easily more than 100 kills just for checkpoint 33 now that's closer to the end of the first half and honestly over this month and the last month there have been a ton of new people joining the channel joining the discord so if this is your first time checking out this video you might not have you know, the adequate resources to reliably farm wave 33 or even beat the first half. If that is the case for you, wave 10 is probably where you're going to want to go. Take it slow, take it easy. It can be challenging. You know, all of these can be challenging because the leader, this go around when this video goes live, is Godzilla Final Wars, and he does not have, a, or I guess he does have AoE with a tailspin. Um, but he can get overwhelmed pretty quickly, especially with all the stuns on wave 10. So just manage it. You, you, it's really, really easy. I, I'm not going to spend a ton of time telling you how to like solo level 10, like wave 10 of the all star battle. I did it here with a few, like with just with the end boss pretty much and letting them attack my leader. You can get an extra piece for your leader in the event store to make sure that he has a little bit more durability for these missions to just stop and like solo it. They're really honestly not super difficult, especially if your leader has decent levels and your roster is kind of built out. Uh, I can't imagine anyone really struggling with Wave 10. It's a really big nothing burger. The only actual threat this entire wave has is a GMK, which appears towards the end on the left side. So just keep that in mind. Keep your eyes on that GMK because once he spawns in, he's got that AoE. He's got good stats. You just got to stay on top of that. It's it's a super simple thing to do. But otherwise, you know, you can drop a few low-level units. I like having Super X on here to pick off, you know, some of the things from far away. I liked even using Unit 8 for all of these. I have Unit 8 actually in the video on the Wave 33 checkpoint. I like Unit 8. She's fine. Anything with long range to help you farm these is awesome. You don't really want something running up and killing the boss right away because then you're not maximizing the amount of kills you're getting. You want to take your time with these especially if you know you're strong enough you know take your time with these missions get all of the kills clear all of the waves and you are going to get a healthy chunk of points obviously the wave 10 checkpoint is not the best farm overall for this for this event the best farm for kills is wave 33 that i'm showing right next to me here but if you can't do 33 and you're just trying to get as many of the kill challenges as you can and you know you don't have a huge roster wave 10 is probably gonna just be the safest option for you to do it so that's literally all i got for you today it's a super short video i don't want to spend a ton of time talking about this because honestly every month i talk about wave 33 for all the new players who don't see the previous month's video gotta let you know that wave 33 is good i just punch my shit out of my phone and then for all the new you know for the returning players you probably didn't even make it this long into the video so that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helps you get a little bit more of the achievements during All-Star Battle, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.